Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Neo Scavenger and the Adventures of Philip Kindred. Let's start again, new game. Random skills, what do we ca- oh my god. Um, right, fragile, feeble, myopia, insomniac, enervated. So we're more severe, we deal less damage. We can't see very far. We're insomniac, we're enervated. This will not last long. Okay, let's, let's, let's grab some things to to, um, to match that out, right? We can't take strong, tough, eagle eye, or athletic. That's harsh. These are harsh penalties, my friend. Let us see. Uh, we'll need hiding, I think. With that, we'll definitely need hiding. Um, let, let's match out what we have here with like, side skills, right? Um, do we take melee? I'm gonna pick, um, we have ranged, so I'm gonna pick melee, um, botany, trapping, and mechanic. But we are hampered. This is not gonna be a very, very happy run for us, I think. But, here we go. It is time for Philip Kindred. Ready, we wake up again, and what shall we do to let... Um, to stop the wolfman? Let's say, what are we gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna rig the door shut. We could rig the door shut. We could hack the door shut. You could use knowledge of plants. How does use knowledge of plants help us? A plant catches your eyes. You scan the room for supplies. Ricin. Ricin's communist. The castor oil plant. It, it makes the, makes ricin. Which is a poison, which is a, which has been used as a chemical warfare agent. Um, there were rice in attacks in Japan, like in the early nineties, I think. Um, yeah, stomp the leaves, rub the fragments on your feet and hands, scatter the rest in the doorway. The dogman comes in, sniffs the plants, shakes its head in disgust. I, <laughs> I basically push it away with my hands. It steps away, obviously uninterested in your toxic scent. One more half, it pads down the hall, looking for more palatable prey. I guess, uh, let's search that quickly. Not that we know, but I, I'm pretty sure we get... Something in the end screen keeps mentioning finding out my bank details, so maybe I get to find my bank at some point. Let's get out the window. Right, yes, 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 okay. Let's have a look around. Let's scavenge... here. I'm currently myopic, so... No, I didn't find anything, did I? Found some glass shards, so we can take those. Um, so we can go back in. Let's go back in and at least get the recipes for the other things, right? So you can, if you head in, we can basically look into that. We'll get the recipe for that. Look into that. We get the recipe for that. We can leave again. We've done all this before. If, you if you're wondering what I've just done, watch previous videos. Um, right. There's nothing else here. Apart from those recipes. Um, as you approach the town, blah, 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 blah. No, I think, you know, we've done this. That was, I read that one as well in previous videos. Right, so you got storage shed, abandoned house, and abandoned house. So a lot of stuff to search hurry early on. Let's hide, let's search with mechanic. Wow. Yeah. Like, our loot is low enough as it is because we're myopic. So that's going to be very... Unfortunate a lot of the time. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Oh, come on. Being half blind is not is not helping me at all. Right, we got some stuff out of this though. We got ourselves a a running shoe. Hello, running shoe. Running shoe. Running shoe. Thank you. Um, an olive colored hoodie. A makeshift rag shoe, I guess. Improper footwear, but we're not barefoot anymore. A crowbar with a strap. I can. Oh, nice! I can. Work, I can put it on my back. A quality torch that's unlit. That's not shabby. Um, scrap of foil. Can I put that on my head? <laughs> can I put foil on my head? Um, an olive colored hoodie. It's not shabby. Can we? Okay. It's fine. I'm assuming that, is that still... yeah, fair enough. Uh, right, then. 
Not being able to see far isn't very nice. Um, we we'll have to enter anyway. And it's now raining. Hooray. Uh, what's that? It's flat grassland with the water, flat grassland. You can scavenge here, we're not going to get anything. Let's go for botany. Salvage with botany. What plants do we know about? Ooh, we've got some things. What did we get? Aspar Agaricus bispurus, edible, edible berries. I think that'll be more useful than anything else. Let's take some edible berries. Uh, Medic-wise. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't get medic today. No, I got a botanist. Uh, I can't see anything. Right, okay. Like, I understand not being able to see that square, but I should be, at least be able to see that it is a forest. And I've got blisters, of course I've got blisters. Uh, botany. Wow, okay. Light, okay. More edible berries. Ah, here we go, that's going to be more like right click, right click. Right, let's stay turned and see what we got. It's in a, we have a house in, this, in, the, in the woods, so it's a uh, scavenge in the shack in the forest. Shack with the crowbar, with the safety of a mechanic, so we're quite safe. And we can scavenge discreetly. That works with me. What did we get out of that? Parabinox. Huh. Also, whoop. Yeah, thanks for um, someone letting me know that I can in fact turn things around. Just press A and D. Like, not R. The R is rest. But A and D just turns them around. Um, okay, so it means we've got binoculars. Hopefully that helps. It. There you go. Who knows what they made in this factory back in the day. Nothing now but rusting hulks of metal, corroding overhead walkways and dark shadows. A clutch of Froggers are huddled in one corner over a fire. Tea time for the Church of the Blue Frog Believers. But there's something else in here. Something inhuman. You can tell by the smell. Wet fur, musky scent, a dog man. You've been crouched here for the past half hour, and you still haven't got a good fix on it. You think it's moving in on the froggers. Yellow warning, it could be you who's the target. Do nothing, and you've got cover for an escape. But they'll be guaranteed dog food. Ooh, see, this, this is the moral choice now. Do I... Does it... To be honest, the Church of the Blue Frog, I don't know what they are. They haven't hurt me yet in any playthrough, as far as I know of. That's, uh, nobody deserves to be fanged by a dogman. Shout a warning and cross your fingers. You hail the froggers, but they're slow to react. They look, start looking around, uncertain. There's a flash of movement in the nearby shadows. Crap, the dogman's moving towards you. Running for the exit, you hear it pounding after you. There's a door up ahead. Maybe the dogman won't follow you outside? It lunges and you jig sideways, still moving. Barely a moment later, another lunge. It's touch and go like this for several eternal seconds. Running at full tilt at the door, you shoulder it open. The dogman makes one final slash at your back, then you're through. Outside. The dogman's probably circling back for his other play, because he's nowhere to be seen out here. You're safe for now, but your lungs burn and you're shaking like a leaf. Uh... Rest. End the turn, please. Oh, please, no. Um, a feral dog. Um, I'd like to move away, please. I, I, I need to fall back, run back. I need to get far enough back that I can yeah, access my inventory. There you go. I can access my inventory. And I've got a crowbar to beat a dog with. Um... I think I can threaten the dog with a crowbar now. He charges at me. He runs exposed from me. I'm bleeding? That's unfortunate, sir. I must now beat the dog. Uh, can I not beat the dog with this? There you go. I fall back once that. He bites me. I gotta, I gotta wait, I gotta hit you with that. Bam. Stunned and unable to do anything for a moment. Surge him. So, 
I pelted his left leg with a crowbar, I pelted his upper arm with a crowbar, I pounded the upper right arm with a crowbar. Your log's in severe pain and trouble concentrating. Um, severe pain. Surge again. Bam. Um, I'm hit with it. He bites my lower right arm. Severe pain. Misses. Right, okay, fine. Oops. That's probably bad. He bit my lower chest. Beat him again. Right, I've... He's now coughing blood. I've... What happened here? Feral dog attacks the player and hits. He bit my upper chest. I hit his upper chest with a crowbar. He's coughing up blood. He's unconscious. Passed out from unbearable pain. I might just leave, I think. Um, I don't, don't want to kill it. Put it out of its misery, I think. It's unconscious, right? So let's just end it there. I'm sorry, but it was... Uh, it was. You came after me, you were feral. Um, and that's my reasoning. I'm still I'm hurt quite a bit, though. I, oh, look at that. I'm bleeding everywhere. Scavenge. An abandoned apartment building. Maybe they have something for me. I need the loot more than anything else at the moment. Right, okay, what did you get? T-shirt? Fine. Dirty rags. A shiv. Blue jeans. A disassembled DMC drone wreckage. Okay, um... Some sandals. Inappropriate. Blisters on my foot. I am aware of that, but can I do that? It's improper footwear as well. <laughs> flurp flurps! Flurp flurps! Meso pretty flurp flurps! Why not? Um... The dog's corpse. I'm tired. Of course I am. Um... I'm still... Oh, look at that. Severe cuts and minor cuts, minor bleedings. I got, I got some blood loss. I mean, lot, I mean, severe pain in my right arm. Oh dear. This does not bode, this does not bode well. I think it's... I have to, just to see if I can stop the bleeding. It's going to infect. <laughs> I'm going to lose my right arm to infection, but I have to. Uh, another apartment building. Um, I'm not doing that. Let's do that. Right, okay. What did we get from that? Anything useful? Any medical supplies? It's jelly bears, that's not pills. All loads of empty bottles. Uh, is that a lighter? I saw a lighter. I saw a lighter. That is a lighter. Okay, got a lighter at least. Um, plastic bag. Food can go in there. Take a couple of plastic bottles just in case we find any water. Um, comes some rags because I can wash the rags if it comes down to it. And wash the rags if it comes down to it. So I can do that. I'm carrying a moderate load. What? I'm carrying nothing. I suppose my my arm is really damaged. Fine. Uh, straight office building. And that'll do. Right, we got a lot of stuff. What do we get now? Um, make sure blue jeans, another shoe, another shirt. Uh, hang on. Jeans, hoodie, uh, shirt. Can I actually, if I craft, can I tear some stuff apart into rags? Like, can I cut you into okay, dirty rags? Right, okay. I can, but it's dirty rags. In that case, it's nothing better than what I already have. Um, take a second shirt. Take a third shirt. A hoodie. And proper footwear, blisters and foot burdened. Yeah, that's not... I don't envision myself lasting very longer. I'm in pain, but I'm getting better. I'm tired and burdened. One more building to savage. Right, 
Right, now what do you get out of this? Grey shirt, grey shirt, jeans, shirts, some water, actually a bottle full of water now, that's good. Uh, some food. Some saltine crackers. <laughs> some crisps. Eat the potato chips now. Um, eat the crisps now. Um, let's see. I think that's it, right? I mean, I can't wear any more. I can't wear one one pair of trousers at a time. I could put another shirt on, but I don't see the reason for that. I'm not sure which better, a, a, the wrong s sandal or a, or a rag shoe. Um, I don't know. What time is it now? It's morning. I could rest. If you rest in the burnout shell of a building, I'll rest and see what I can do. Like, see if I see what I can rest with. My left shoe fell off. I'm fighting off an infection. Of course, I'm fighting off an infection. That's infected now. Stop bleeding, though. Um. Right then. My right shoe fell off. Um. Barefoot blisters on foot. I'll go for the makeshift rag shoe, I think. Right, um... I'm carrying too much weight. Okay, I'm weary. I'm too overloaded. I'm too tired to move. I gotta sleep. Um... I can't move while overloaded. I'm too... It's too, it's too heavy for me. Really? I'm carrying nothing. Still overloaded. Wow, I'm properly unable to move. I'm gonna have to sleep here. In the woods, apparently. Oh boy, we're not lasting the night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm. I've got insomnia, haven't I? I'm thirsty, right? Drink some water then. As night falls, you notice there's a bright glow coming from the east, easily visible through the T-tops. No guarantee, but it could be a sign of civilization, maybe even a lead in where, who you are or who, where you are or who. Nothing else is a good landmark. Right. What was that? Player's whole body is in an inflammatory, potentially fatal state. I'm weary, shivering, overloaded, and blind. Mild blood loss, severe pain, sepsis. Right. I drank some water. <laughs> and I can't sleep because I'm an insomniac, right? I am an insomniac, I believe. Yeah, I'm an insomniac. Like, I still can't move, so it's still the best choice to do sleep. Just sleep. Has lost a lot of blood and will require hospital care soon. Is in minor pain and some activity. Oh god. Well. Died of blood loss. Well. I had a... I died of a blood loss then, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sherry, weary, shivering, nearsighted, less... I had a binoculars. Skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but I'm... I was overloaded because I was weak. Um, I was frail. I had trouble staying asleep, and sleep is less restful. I died of blood loss. I went into sepsis. Yeah. It's out of shape and fatigues more easily, yes I am. And more good than evil, significantly. Yeah. Well, a short video this time, ladies and gentlemen, because um this version of Philip Kindred did not last very long. That RNG in the start though, that that random start so many negatives. So many negatives. I mean I I don't think I would have gotten hurt that badly if I wasn't frail. Anyway. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed it. A short video, but it gives you a 10-minute break before Star Sector comes out. I'll catch you guys next time. See you then. Bye.